Well, we saw and heard there the Liverpool crowd really getting behind Peter McGrail in the hope that he can extend this city's long, proud fighting tradition. Bringing to the ring, as Tony Bellio has been saying, this brilliant amateur pedigree, which includes two bronze medals at the World Championships and a European Championship gold, which he won in Ukraine, winning the final against a Ukrainian. Pro Korea, six wins old so far and five of those inside the distance as he just slips inside the right hand of Vitelli and fails to time the counter shot early on 40 seconds gone in the opening round yeah I'll have to agree with Tony Bell you Liverpool could have a superstar on their hands he's a very very good fighter Peter McGraw quick hands great variation the angles that he produces and he creates you know I've heard <laughs> The name Piachenko mentioned, shades of Lomachenko, and he skips to the left and to the right and makes his opponents look silly at times. He's ambitious, he's switched on, he's focused. But the man in the red corner, Batelli, I've seen him, he's he's tough, he's rugged. He's not afraid to mix fire with fire, which you know at times has been his downfall, but does make him a threat. So sweet Pete McCrow will have to be switched on, focused. But we've yet to see anything other than that so far. Yeah, he's looking for that left hand a lot, isn't he, Peter McGraw? And I think he'll have more success with that if he touches the jab to the body first. Get a reaction because we're seeing every single time, once more and again, Batelli leaning back. So he is wide open for that shot, but he's just got to set it up first with either a feint or a jab to the body. Vitelli trying to get to work behind that left-hand jab. Trying to get some rhythm going, just clicks Mikhail on the way in with a right uppercut. It was a lovely short, sharp shot from Vitelli there. Going to have to be careful, he's going to have to pick his moments. Leaning back once more, taking this thing out of the shot though. McGrath follows that up, could be in trouble. Lovely left hand again, rocking the head back of Vitelli. And again, Darren, having made Batelli miss in the first place to create that opening. And we sit here ringside often enough, and at times you can start to read the rhythm of a fighter and the flow of a fighter, but it's very difficult to, to guess what the Grail is going to do. Exactly, exactly like that, Mike. Skip in, he, he throws a shot, then he exits, he moves, then he comes back with more shots, and he's always thinking about his opponent's shots, what they're going to throw, and that's so important. I mean, if you can master defence, everything else will follow. Vitelli just snorts as the blood starts to flow from the Argentine's nose. Twice in a row, McGrail pouring forward and catching Vitelli with the head. The Argentine complaining twice in a row. Not a lot going his way at this stage. You can see the blood of the nose and there's not a great deal wrong with what McGraw's doing there he's just bringing his feet in a little bit more and that's why the head's coming close he just missed a few times with that left hand so he's made the adjustments and that's made him get that bit closer and that's why the heads have clashed but another lovely left hand in there nice jab from Batelli and right hand it's just the difference in speed as well lovely right hand as he was letting his hands go Batelli these shots really crunching home now from McGrail who's developed that power over his 17 months in the professional ranks albeit some of the opposition hasn't been as strong as he faced in the latter stages of his amateur career but these shots now are finding a home frequently and with real power from McGraw. brilliant round just watching the front foot of McGraw really getting on the outside of Patelli now people start to try and straighten up that left hand trying to find the target through the middle of the guard as he does there, skips round nicely, nice left to the body, back upstairs, beautiful work from the ground. Again, just turning the screw slightly, lovely shot. Three brilliant left hands in a row from McGrail, one to the body and then two to the chin. Again, advertising that tremendous variety. Into the second minute of round five and still Batelli struggling to find the answers. Yes, the the kind of tactic that I would call for if I was Patelli, he's trying to get on the chest, he's trying, credit to Patelli. 
It's the lack of speed of foot. He just can't get close to McGraw. Good work, though. Nice left to the body. Well taken on the arm of McGraw. Just for Patelli as well, you see with Pete McGraw, he likes it, as you just see there, the little skip and the step to his right to Patelli. Should try and stop throwing his left hook a little bit more and hope that he can walk McGraw onto to one of those shots. Into the sixth round, he was taking the full six rounds on his debut, but has finished all five fights since inside the distance. Can he build on the momentum now across this second half of the fight? Oh, lovely work, missing with the left, but following, following up with that lead right hook. Beautiful shot. So much variation, but it's not just with the punches. Said it time and time again, it's the footwork, side to side. So difficult to read. And it's making Botelli apprehensive about throwing shots of his own because he knows what's coming back and he knows it's going to be so difficult to pin one on McGraw. Yeah, absolutely. It's that lacking hand speed. Every time he does throw something, nine times out of ten he's countered by McGraw and that is the, it's just the speed of hands. To try and favour, said it in the previous round, favour that left hook a little bit more, Batelli. Try and walk the growl onto one, maybe faint with that backhand and throw the left hand. Because he does predominantly skip to his right, like most southpaws do, McGraw. As you see there, that's the, that's the moment for Batelli to throw the left hook, but too much know how, too much speed, and he's very, very comfortable. Like I say, this is exhibition stuff at the minute from McGraw. Exchange as well, you were talking down there. Lovely right hand landed to the body from McGrail, and there was a nod of acknowledgement from Batelli, fighting man from Argentina. Comes to fight well over half of his contests have finished inside the distance, win or lose. But he's been a long way second best here tonight as we head into the final minute of the contest. Sharp through punt combination. Burying up the, the angle of the shot, straight hooks, then back straight. Again, that looping left hand from McGrail, which has been successful from the first round through to this, the tenth and final round. all this time that Vitelli might have found a way of negating that left hand but he disguises it in so many different ways he does head body the feints that was a nice right hand from Vitelli a little too late yep he's been rugged he's been awkward he's been stubborn Vitelli but Pete McGraw has been sharp he's been classy and certainly won every round of that contest Ladies and gentlemen, after 10 rounds here in Liverpool, we go to the judges' score totals. All three judges, Steve Gray, Ron Kearney, and Marcus McDonald, scored this bout identically, 100 to 90. For your winner, by unanimous decision, he's still undefeated, Peter Blood McGrail.